Yeah, guys, these headlights are awesome. This is the second set I've bought. The first ones are two years old, never had a lick of problems out of it. And uh, so I'm looking forward to a good longevity out of these ones as well. All right, guys, so here's where we're at. We're looking at putting headlights on this machine. And I've got a mounting bracket on here and you can put it two different ways. So I'm gonna show you in just a second. But the way that it works is there's a little nut in here. You kind of see it sliding back and forth. So I'm gonna put this uh, bolt in there. I'm gonna thread that into the nut just a little bit. And what I've done is again, this is all the testing phase to see what's gonna fit where the lights need to go. So on one, I've got the wire coming down at the bottom and I've got the bracket flexible like this. And on the other one, it's opposite. I've got the light coming out of the top and the bracket's flexible the other way. So you see if I put them both at the bottom, one has got the mount down here at the bottom, the other one's got the mount at top. So it's gonna give me the ability to show me how it's gonna slide on this machine. So for example, if I've got this wire on top, I've got the mounting bracket, the hole at the bottom, that's gonna let me sit on a, on a flat surface vertically and I'm gonna be able to adjust my pitch like this, okay? So I'm gonna be able to find out where I want it, if I wanna mount it there, that might work. Uh, maybe if I wanna mount it here. So let me play around with this and see what I can find out. It's gonna be the best configuration. All right guys, so I've had a chance to play with this just a little bit. I think I know what I'm gonna do. I've changed the mounting brackets on both of them. The hole is up at the top and the wire is coming out the bottom of each corner. And again, each mower is gonna be a little bit different, but I think this is gonna give me the best option. Let's see here. Or I can mount it flat on the back, right here to this front plate, somewhere like this. And it's going to be like that on both sides. And I think that's going to give me the ability to um, run my wires cleanly. Uh, I might have to do something. The only obstruction I have right here is this parking brake. And I want to make sure that the wires aren't in the way of anything mechanical that's moving back and forth. But there's enough room back here behind this bracket uh, where I think I can come down. But outside of this parking brake on this mower, there's nothing else. Uh, no other obstructions, anything else that's back here. So I think this is going to be as good a place as any. It's going to give me a good field of view. What I'm going to do real quick before I make it permanent is I'm going to get a clamp and I'm just going to hold this on here. I'm going to get up here, put my feet in here, daily, everyday use, and see you know, if my foot's resting on this and kicking it, then I'm not going to want to do that. But I think I can mount it low enough here where it's out of the way. It shouldn't hit on any other mowers. Um, I might bring it back just as, I'm going to bring it as far as I can. I don't know guys, it's a work in progress. We're going to figure it out together. So let me clamp it down, throw my boots on it and see how it's going to work. I've got this side taped up so that if it does fit, I don't have to go back and do any taping before I start drilling. And then what I'm going to do is I've got a couple zip ties here. I'm going to find the best place. that I can to put this. So I want to make it to where I can still move it a little bit. So I don't want to make it super, super tight. Looks good. I've got to slide it this way. So it's not over that carriage bolt. We're good. It's not sitting perfectly flush, but it'll be close enough where I can test it out. So let's just see. If I'm up here mowing. So that's good. My boots aren't going to be in the way. Raise and lower the deck. It's not going to get away. If I got to take the parking brake off, it's not going to be in the way. So, guys, this is where I'm going to settle on putting it. I'm going to uh, mark that off with a pin, and uh, then I'm going to find my center hole. I think that's going to be, guys. I think that's going to be perfect about as wide as I've got them on my Ferris Z3X. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mount the square that the bracket's on right now. 
For this one, it's pretty easy because it's going from the edge of the tape. So I'm gonna find my angle and I'll grab a picture of this in just a second to show you guys what I've done. Probably would have been a little bit easier with a marker. So that's gonna be good there. Again, I want them to be the same place on both sides, so I really want this to be right. It'll look good, I want it to look factory, so. All right, now when I take these down, there we go, it's not great, but you can see if I put my bracket up here, I'll take it off the light and make my, make my edges like this. So I know that's the inside of my bracket and then I'll find my center hole here. All right, so I'm gonna measure, I'm gonna put my bracket up here. Doesn't matter which way, cause it's the same size, right? So my bracket's up here along my flat edge. My corners are lining up. Right there. Same thing over here. Find my corners, find my flat edge. And I'm gonna aim right for the center of that right here. Now I've got a 5 16 bolt. So I'm gonna use a 3 8 inch bit to make sure I got plenty of room. And just check your mowers, make sure that you don't have any obstructions behind it. Um, obviously, if you go into your frame or something like that, you're gonna to have to have a tap so that you can screw these into the frame. Um, but this is just, you know, eighth inch steel. It's gonna be perfect. I can mount this flush and uh, and drop this bolt in here so that's how it's going to sit in here it's going to go through there and i can put a bolt on the back and there's not going to be any obstructions whatsoever so let me go ahead and drill this out and i'm going to uh mount these brackets all right guys here goes nothing first one make sure you line it up good now you should be able to see this one a little bit better Now that that's done, I can take my tape off. That's gonna be perfect. Now, I already know what I'm gonna to have to do is these are gonna to have to be all the way at the bottom, but I need to put my bolt in here first. So I'm gonna take this off, I'm gonna put my bolt through, I'm gonna tighten these down, and then I'm gonna mount it on there. So I'm gonna put my bolt from the bottom up. Kind of hold it in place. And then I'm going to find those nuts. Make sure you got your washer on here. There's no washer that goes on this big bolt that goes into the bracket. Okay, that's just, just the bolt. But on these, you've got a little washer in here. And again, I'm going to slide it down, bottom it out. And another thing I forgot to tell you guys is I can slide this whole bracket. So. If I want to mount it like this and slide it all the way over, I can do that. See, I can slide it however I want to. I just had it right in the center for measuring purposes. So if I want to, I can come all the way over and I might just do that to give it a little bit better field of view. I won't really know how well it's going to work until I put it out in the field, but my other one is spaced about this far apart and it does really, really well, but I think I can go a little bit wider. So I'm going to go. I'm gonna put the bracket right here in between these two uh, bolts right there. So normally I would put some Loctite on here, but until I know exactly where I want the bracket, I'm not gonna do that. On the other one that I put on, I don't even think I added Loctite. Um, I'm just gonna snug these up. And again, you don't wanna over tighten these because if you do and you break this bolt, you're gonna to have to take this whole assembly apart and put a new nut in there and you don't want to have to do that so I've got that snugged up my bolts in there from the back side what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a lock washer on there and I'm gonna put my nut and I'm just gonna thumb thumb it up 
right guys so here's where we're at again not perfectly straight um, they're not too bad they're not too far off I kind of wish it wasn't covering up the 72 and the 40 horsepower but in the grand scheme of things I'd rather have lights than stickers so uh, yeah I think it's I think they're gonna work just fine there I'm hoping that it's not angled up too high I'm gonna have to check that and make sure that uh, that I can see I'll flip the lights off and, and try them out but uh, I've already drilled it and so that's where they're going but I think that's gonna look really good and I think they're gonna work really really well there they're a little bit farther apart than what they are on my z3x and those work phenomenally well those do really really well there so um, if anything I think this little bit wider uh, angle is going to give it a little bit better field of view because it's got these uh, LEDs on the side plus the ones in the front. It does kind of look, it does kind of look like it's tilted up to the to the to the sky a little bit. So I'm not super super happy about that. Might see if I can adjust these brackets and uh, maybe tilt these up just a little bit more. We'll see. Let me see what I can do, and I'll pull it back up on camera. Okay, guys, so I think you can see the difference now. Uh, the one on the back side is kind of stocked the way that I had it. This one in the front by the 72 symbol, um, definitely better angle more than what I want, uh, or more of what I want, rather. And all I did is I put a little piece of stock in here. Um, I'll have to look. I don't think it was quite quarter inch, maybe an eighth inch stock just underneath the bracket all right guys so this is what i'm going to use it's 3 16 inch uh, stock i'm going to cut it down to about an inch and that'll give me a clean fit right inside the top edge of the bracket right here you see that other piece of stocks in there still um, so it's going to be in there and then once i tighten it down it should it should keep it in place i shouldn't have to worry about anything else so let me go ahead and cut this one down and put it in there and we will tighten it up and start wiring all right guys here you have it i've got it mounted i've got a little piece of 3 16 stock there 3 16 stock right there and uh, it's tightened up and those things are angling exactly where i need them to let me figure out what i'm going to do with the wiring and then we'll add that next section to the video and so isn't that super clean under there? That's going to be really easy to get to. I'll probably route my wire right down through here. Maybe zip tight to the frame somewhere. Just want to be mindful of anything that's going to be moving in here. Um, but I think this is going to be super, super easy to get to. Could probably even route it out right through there. Come in clean, zip tight to one of these wires. And I got my negative and my positive all easy to get to so let me put this uh, let me put my battery power on here oh let me show you what I got so here's what I've got to mount for my battery for my power all right so let me show you what I'm going to use to wire this up so you might be looking at this saying Nathan that looks like a bunch of wires and guys it is uh, I bought a wiring kit this is for you know any type of vehicle or anything you're going to put fog lights in uh, they don't really make one for a mower so you could do it with just wires and run your own but it's so easy just to buy these kits <clears throat> the only thing that didn't come in this kit are uh, these little grommets to, uh, to to clean up the wiring when i get done uh, this tubing was extra and then it comes with a toggle switch okay but uh, the last one I had, I don't think was really waterproof. Um, so it, 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 the, the switch went bad. Maybe it was just a bad switch from the factory. But I had bought some extra uh, waterproof switches, which is what I've got on the Ferris. So I'm just going to use one of those switches. And it's going to be super simple. So, um, you know, this is going to be mounted. It's got a pigtail here that uh, the wire harness is going to go into. Here's your inline fuse. So this is what you're gonna hook up to the battery. Obviously your negative here, your positive here. It's got your inline fuse. And then here's your relay. So I'm gonna find some place to zip tie this or maybe screw it in. But uh, if I can zip tie it out of the way, that'll be fine. And then off of there are gonna be your leads that run down 
to your uh, lights themselves. So it's got female ends here, and then it also provides you with the male ends to go on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to these leads here. I'm going to put these ends on it and then I can plug them in here. And one other thing that I really like that it provided is it's got these heat shrink shields, which you can then slip over top and, uh, and heat shrink on there so there's no moisture that gets in there. Now I'm going to show you on my Ferris, this one's a little bit different. And I actually, I think I like this one a little bit better. I think I got this kit from, um, I think it was AutoZone, but what I like about this is I can just unplug this and disconnect my lights where the other side over there, I'm going to have to actually manually do it, but I've only done that one time and I had to take that off because I had to take this shield off to get in there and change out a pulley. But with this one, it's not going to be in the way of absolutely anything that needs to be repaired. So there's really no reason that I should ever have to take it off. So that's why I'm perfectly okay with putting that on this machine. Let me go ahead and hook up the battery. I'm going to take the fuse out of that so that there's no power coming to it. And then I'm going to hook this up. I'm going to run my wires and uh, find out where my slack's going to be and just everything what I want to have it mounted. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right guys, so here's where we're at. I've got the front lights hooked up just loosely. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the battery off. I'm gonna put the wire harness on here, make sure that it works. I think I've got the routing figured out, but uh, I wanna test to make sure everything's working right first, and then we'll button everything up. So I'm taking the negative off first. Set that out of the way. And I'm going to grab my wire harness. Now I don't have the fuse in here. Okay, I don't want the fuse in here up right while I'm wiring this up. So I'm gonna pull this out. I'm gonna put my positive wire harness on there. And then I'm gonna drop my I'm gonna drop my washer because that's what I do. So washer is gone for that side. I'm gonna call it a lost cause. And I'm gonna put a washer on this side and the nut. And then I'm gonna tighten it back up. Now then, I'm gonna put my negative back on. I'm gonna run my negative power cable in here not a power cable you guys know what I'm talking about put the washer on there and then I'm going to take this nut and put it on there and try not to drop it as my kids would call it I got the dropsies today all right so those are tightened up now what I can do is I'm going to hook up, I'm just going to use the toggle switch that was on there for now. I'm going to plug these in together. And then I'm going to put my fuse in. My switch is off. And now when I flip this, the red light should come on. Check all my leads. My relay is plugged in, and there's only one way that can plug in, so you can't mess that up. Flip it on, and voila, I have lights. Oh yeah, so man, those things are going to be wicked bright. Yeah, that's going to be a good field of vision. I can see straight out in front of me. You can kind of see on the floor right here. It's got a good wide view, like almost like a, I don't want to say quite 180, but uh, maybe a, a 140 or 160 field of view. I think that's going to work really, really well. All right, guys, so that's going to work perfect. Uh, let me go ahead and shrink my wires 
I'm going to run it inside of uh, that flex tube, run it along the frame, see where I want it, and then uh, tie up any slack that I've got in there and find a good place to tuck it away. Uh, just one thing to note on this, on the if you're putting it on a ZXT like I am, so you've got to be mindful of this suspension, right? So this whole seat's coming up and down. So I'm not gonna have these wires really tight. I'm gonna have a little bit of play in there. I've already looked on the underside. You can kind of see in through the frame here, there's not a pinch point. So it's gonna be fine. But uh, make sure you're paying attention to all that kind of stuff. All right guys, so now I've got this cover loose. This was sitting in here like this. I took the four bolts out peeled it up I unplugged everything and then this had a bolt that was holding that in place there so uh, I've got this loose it does have an accessory panel so you could just nip those off and put in a toggle switch and fill that out uh, I'm gonna save that for something else so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount a rocker switch right up here in this area I thought about doing it down here um, probably do have plenty of room but that gives me the most amount of space to play with so I'm going to mount it right around up there. And I already checked. There's not going to be any obstructions when I'm mowing. I'm not going to accidentally bump it. Um, so that's, that's going to be perfectly fine. That was the only thing I was worried about if you mount something down here is if you accidentally bump it. So I'm going to go ahead and drill this out. I'm going to mount my switch. And then the last thing I need to do is show you guys how I'm going to route the wires. All right, guys, so I know I keep saying I'm going to show you the wiring, I'm going to show you the wiring, but I wanted to show you the underside of this control panel before I go ahead and button it back up. So everything else was factory in here. Uh, these wires are not connected to anything right now. Um, they do have dielectric grease in there, so you don't have to worry about anything like that. But here is the switch. Uh, it turned out good. I'm going to just, I just zip tied it to the factory harness. I'm going to follow that down. Once it's sitting in here, that's how it's going to sit. It looks pretty good to me. And uh, of course, the lights are working. So I'm going to put these bolts back in, these little screws, and then I am going to run it along here. I've already actually run this wire. I just need to zip tie it in a couple places. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to bring it around and come in through here. And I will show you guys that when I get it buttoned up. That's the next step. Whew, almost done. Almost done, guys. All right, guys. The lights are installed. The wires have been run. I tried to make it look as factory as possible uh, with a few minor exceptions. So let me show you everything from start to finish. So here's the headlights. I've got a mounting bracket there for a quarter inch little mount right there for a quarter inch and then i just followed along the frame and this is the only thing i think that doesn't look factory so i was going to drill into the tubing here and i decided you know what i just don't want to drill into the frame already so i just went ahead and used some uh, some big size zip ties there come around here i'll lift this seat up but before i do Here's the control panel. All right, now I'm going to lift this up and I want you to see how clean this looks. Man, would you look at there. Here's my wires coming in. And what I did was everywhere that you see white zip ties is my work. And let me tell you why I did that. So a lot of my wiring, I just followed the factory wire harness. So I wanted to make sure that if I ever had to take this out or if I ever had to do any adjustments, mechanics, anything to it, I know that all of my white zip ties are my lines. Everything else is factory. So I came in here and I had to take into account because the seat's got the suspension in it, had to take into account. So I brought it in here, tied everything together. Uh, I just used this factory bolt right here to mount my relay to came up tied this all my extra slack I tied into the seat uh, seat wiring harness and then my pigtail 
that goes to the switch comes right down around here runs right underneath this as you can see here's a factory wire harness came up here and anywhere where I had connections here and on my uh, solenoid here or my relay I went ahead and put dielectric grease and it comes in here and it goes around it follows this wire harness and then it comes up in there let me come around to this side and give you guys a view from this side so again these are my wires going out they go out and down there's no pinch points everything looks good it looks super super clean and then I followed my wire down here here it's my pigtail and then I came around and hooked to this wire harness here 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 and came in and finished it off up top so this joker is bright it looks good man it's coming along I got my lights on there got the quick shoe down there now one last thing to put on there and that is this guy right here and get this winch all mounted up and then that'll be the last piece of the puzzle for right now bam so if you guys are just tuning in for the headlight version of this video just want to say we appreciate you watching appreciate you um, staying tuned and supporting us if you got any questions shoot me a message leave me a comment in the section below i'll try to answer it the best that i can and uh yeah guys these headlights are awesome this is the second set i've bought the first ones are two years old never had a lick of problems out of it and uh, so i'm looking forward to a good longevity out of these ones as well but uh, all right i'm gonna get to it i'm gonna put a winch on this mower um I'm not sure how I'm going to break down these videos yet. So if it's not all one big video, make sure you guys check out that video. It'll probably be popping up. Boom, 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 somewhere around here. And uh, stay tuned as always. I love you guys. Whew, I'm getting tired. I appreciate y'all. God bless.